So, once upon a time, there was a young boy named Jared Jeffrey, who had a very large family. He had 17 brothers and six sisters, and two parents, which was fairly normal in his day and age. So, uh, anyways, sometimes they would go on the weekends, on early Saturday mornings, they would set off into the countryside in a very, very, uh, uh, it was a very large van that they would pack into, um, you know, like a nice, like, 20-seater, like, 20, 30-seater, and, uh, anyways, they'd pack into it, and, uh, they'd go off into the countryside to have a picnic, and it would have to be catered, of course, just because there were so many of them, and there's no way that mom could, you know, make enough food or put it in one picnic basket for everyone, and those boys, all 17 of them, ate a lot, um, mostly chicken legs. They only liked the dark meat. They thought the white meat was far too dry. Anyways, um, Jared Jeffrey, uh, liked going on these trips. He liked doing anything exciting like that, you know, out of the norm. And it didn't happen every weekend. Did I say it happened every weekend? It didn't happen every weekend. It was more like a every now and then, whenever the parents, you know, want to do something special for the kids. But here's the thing. The road out to the countryside where they had these picnics was, well, it was especially windy and rough. And uh, as cramped as the van was, it was especially unpleasant if any of the kids became even a little bit uh, seasick, as it were, or nauseous, or had any form of motion sickness at all, um, and which seemed to frequently happen with the girls and even a little bit with the boys, even though they tried to, you know, swallow it back a little more and, you know, try to be a little bit more heroic about it, they still got motion sickness as well. And every now and then they would have to pull over and someone would have to throw up by the side of the road, which is a huge ordeal because, you know, the van was so packed and it wouldn't have to file in and out very quickly while someone was, you know, trying not to throw up and the chunks were coming out of their nose instead. Anyways, so to avoid this whole throwing up on the roadside thing, everyone started to have to take this, uh, medicine, you know. I'm sure it had a name, but it was too complicated for the kids to remember, so it was just like the anti-road motion sickness medicine. That's what everyone called it. You know, it's just an easy name to remember. Um, But the thing is, it tasted uh, like Dr. Pepper, which was disgusting. So none of the kids liked taking the medicine, uh, this gross Dr. Pepper stuff, uh, especially Jared Jeffrey. And one, he was a pretty young kid, so he didn't have a strong grasp over his, you know, strong control over his emotions. Uh, so one time, uh, you know, the, the parents decided they would go out for a nice picnic in the countryside, and uh, they started pouring out little, little, uh, you know, cups of. There's, there's just just a sip. It was like, you know, just like a half of a sip of this medicine that everyone had to take, but it was just too much for Jared Jeffrey, and he kind of broke down a little bit. And to be honest, he threw a bit of a temper tantrum. He threw a bit of a hissy fit. And uh, he didn't quite get to the point, you know, where he was lying on his back, banging his hands and feet on the ground or anything. But he was right out there at the van. Everyone was loaded in, um, except for his dad, who had to stay back and do some work. And that was okay. Mom mom was a good mom, and she was going to take, you know, all the... 25 other kids out however many there were and uh the 24 math is hard anyways so mom was going to take them all out dad had to stay home and you know do some work uh so anyways jerry jeffrey was out there and he was the last one that had to take the anti-road motion sickness medicine and he just really didn't like the taste that dr pepper taste all those 21 flavors jammed in together it was just too much for him even though he really wanted to go on this picnic trip uh, he just started crying and bawling and he said he didn't want to do it and his mom made sure she's like he's like jerry jeffrey if you want to go on this you have to take this medicine and everyone was waiting in the van and he's like, I, he, he really wanted to go so bad, but he really didn't want to take that medicine, even though he knew it was just a tiny sip. A tiny sip would be all over. He could even wash it down with a glass of water that was sitting right there. But he waited too long. His mom gave him several chances, three, four, 17 chances, and it was all over, and everyone packed into the van, 
and they drove away and left him crying there at the end of the sidewalk in front of the house and it was the worst thing that had ever happened to him. He felt completely abandoned and forlorn and he couldn't figure out why no one loved him anymore. And he turned around and, and there was his dad quietly working on something at the house, completely content to not go on that trip through the rindy roads into a crazy countryside picnic. And he realized maybe it wasn't so bad after all. And he got to hang out here with Dad for a little while. And Dad Dad didn't seem too upset. And Dad hadn't didn't have to take the Dr. Pepper medicine either. Hmm. So he hung out there that day with Dad. The the end. Goodbye.